What are you guys doing? Hi, Bunny. How's Bunny Girl? Hi, Bunny. I know you're scared to camera, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, pretty girl. Hi, Bunny Girl. But your your buddy Clyde's not scared. Hi, Clyde. You're a lover, aren't you? Are you a lover? Are you a lover boy? Yes, you are. Are you a lover boy? Huh? Yeah. Hi, Clyde. How about baby boy? <laughs> Girl, oh, you made mess mess. Did Bonnie make mess mess? Huh? Bonnie does not like water. Hey, stupid. I know, I know. Hello, Miss Harpy Den. Little Miss Coaching. I know you guys want out, but you're not going to come out yet. And there's Rocky's girls. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. He's so pretty. Yes. You got your boyfriend. You been laying eggs yet? And then we got our three amigos in here. Which are the daughters of Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. We found out one of them was a male. So we stuck them in there to... Uh, uh, earlier with Blondie. Oh, you guys are noisy. So, this weekend we put up more fencing. Now, reason we did this was because we wanted to have Cooper Luna have a nice area to run in. And we could keep the chickens out of our area and let them in when we need to. So, I'll start up here. We went ahead and got the gate finally closed. We fixed it. Um... Right now, we're, Donald still has to fix this. He just didn't, um, we just didn't get around to it because it wasn't high on the list. But I went ahead and I secured it here. And then we added fencing all the way to the house. And yeah, right here to the corner. Right next to my beautiful soon to be low quads. And then over here, as you saw in the prior videos, um, we decided not to put not to put a gate here. We may eventually, but not right now. But we went ahead and got this area all open. I cleaned it up, took the tires out. Goodbye. What are you doing, Goop Goop? 
Are you a happy puppy? A Cooper boy, good boy? Are you a good boy, good boy? Are you happy? Yes, you happy? You got room? Yes, you got room to run. So we took it all the way down. And because we don't have a tractor or anything that can carry this, this is, <laughs> this is what you use. You come up with a, a hand dolly. And then this was 330 feet of goat and sheep paneling. Um, it's just what we needed to keep, you know, keep the animals in. But uh, instead of us cutting it off right there at the corner, we just, saw it, just decided to take that piece and add it to an overlap right here. And then we ran it down. We went around our fire pit. Uh, this is where we burn the cardboard and then and uh, any leftover logs or wood and then we take these ashes and we uh, sprinkle it all into the soil so that way we can uh, get back nutrition but uh, we went around to there and that's the duck pen so we connected it to the duck pen we had this area already squared out Donald wants to put a rice patty in here. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? I don't doubt it. I think he would be able to do that because of our land is just so, you know, soggy and wet. And then this is the other corner of the duck house or duck pen. And we went ahead and ran it. This is our big gate. So if we ever have to get a vehicle in here or I got to come in here and mow, um, it's a big enough gate and we already put a pass through there. And then we come around here. And then we went around our butchering area. This is the area where we normally butcher everything. Um, so we wanted to keep, keep it to where we could have easy access to everything. And then um, we put a temporary wire around the AC unit. That's going to come out now that we don't need to worry about that so much. And we have it connected to the corner of the house there. So this entire area is all for Cooper to run. He is no longer on a chain and he is a lot happier because Cooper was getting fat, wasn't he? Coop, Coop, were you getting fat? Yeah, you're still a little chunky. You went on a diet too, a couple weeks ago, huh? Yeah, you're chunky. And of course, you know, dogs do what dogs do. They pee on everything. First thing he did, boy, he was running around peeing on everything. <laughs> so, but that's it, guys. We got a nice enclosed area. I don't have to worry about the chickens pecking at my starts. I can take them straight to the ground which um we are going to be doing yeah because we're going to be starting our seeds outside which you know we're living in central florida our last frost date is march 1st and it's only a few days away so we are definitely going to be starting that um we are going to also uh be doing a lot more raised beds I have to get my tomatoes out here and I'm going to be doing um, the tomatoes in the tires um, along the house here um, if you can see where it slopes off this whole area during the hottest part of the day is shaded by the house because the Sun is behind the house so it casts this nice shade and so with the tomatoes, because of it being in the heat of the summer, I want them to have shade. So that's what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving them lots of shade. But they're going to be growing in tires. Um, I have some leftover cattle panel. And there goes Koopa. He likes to bark at cars. <laughs> and he'll chase them. He's one of those dogs. I can't. I just can't. I can't make it up with him. He's just that type of dog. <laughs> but we also got you know we got more plans coming for more stuff 
raised up stuff that way it's easy for us to grow and to keep here so stay tuned for all the good stuff <laughs>